Welcome back guys. This is Keith with Cyber and You. We've got another awesome video for you guys today. We're going to go through how to create your first EC2 instance, specifically a Windows Server instance. And we're also going to show you how to log into your newly created Windows EC2 instance. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you are logged in. And um, as you guys can see, we are on the AWS Management Console. We're going to go hit, go ahead and hit EC2. Or if you're at the dashboard, um, you can just go to hit running instances. Um, it does bring you to that after you, you click EC2 from the management console uh, homepage. So we're going to go ahead and hit EC2 and we're in instances. We're going to hit launch instance. Uh, let's go ahead and search windows up here and we're looking for I don't know, we can try, uh, we're going to go with Windows 2016 base just for uh, teaching purposes. All right, we've got our T2 micro because we are trying to be considerate of the fact that it is free tier eligible. Uh, we don't want to spend any money. So we're going to go ahead and hit next and configure the instance details. All right, so the main thing, um, you want to be aware of here is um, this subnet here um, in the future um, if you select one of these availability zones um, if you decide to add EBS volume storage uh, elastic block store to your instance you will have to make sure that the EBS volume that you create is in the same availability zone so uh, but that's 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 another video that we can discuss that in so we're gonna go ahead and hit a uh, US West 2B, and uh, that might be different um, based off of where you're located. Um, Amazon tries to do a good time or good job of uh, determining that, but you can you can change your um, your regions. But uh, we'll go ahead and stick with US West Oregon. But if you are you know geographically closer to any of these, it would probably do you better. Um, in the in the scheme of performance and latency to choose one that's closer to you all right so uh, we don't eh, we're not worry about any of that I am roll uh, we're gonna create a new one no we're not all right uh, we're gonna assume that you already have a uh, I sorry I am roll which is the identity and access management role. Um, we already have one for cyber and you admin. Um, if you guys are not familiar with the IAM role, please watch one of our previous tutorials on creating your um, AWS account and setting up um, IAM to learn more about that. So we'll go ahead and click that. Um, you don't have to worry about this, but if you want to select protect against accidental termination, um, this means that you have to basically disable this to to uh, to terminate and delete that instance. So it's useful in some instances. Um, let me see here. All right, I think that's it for now for this page. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and click next, add storage, or you can hit add storage up here. Uh, we're gonna stick with the default, just the root um, partition or MBR for Windows which is the master boot record. We're gonna go ahead and click add tags. Uh, we do wanna add a tag here. Um, key value is just gonna be name. And this would be, you know, whatever you wanna name your, your Windows Server EC2 instance. So we're just gonna do cyber new test one, I don't know, Windows Server. A little lengthy, but that'll do. All right, we're gonna click next and configure the security group. Um, we can go ahead and create a new one. Um, we already have RDP here, but we'll just show you guys. You are going to utilize the remote desktop protocol to connect to your Windows Server um, instance. So where is it? We'll go ahead and click that. Um, I like to just use my IP. Um, just to give it some kind of security. Otherwise you can 
you know, put whatever IP you want that you're trying to connect from or you can do anywhere. Um, but we'll go ahead and select my IP. I don't know, we'll give this a quick description, RDP, admin. Um, all right. Okay. Go ahead and uh, review and launch. I don't need that. All right, we can go over our uh, details here. We selected a Microsoft Windows Server 2016 base Amazon machine image. Apparently it is a, a data center edition. Um, we've got our T2 micro, which is free tier eligible. Um, and then our security group, we just got this RDP, RDP uh, security group that's gonna allow us to connect to the new EC2 instance um, from our local host Windows box. All right, go over instance details if you want. You got your IAM role. Um, we chose that that availability zone B subnet. I uh, went with a default for storage, just that root partition. And then we added a tag, key value name, and the name of our, our instance. So looks good. We'll go ahead and hit launch. All right, so here uh, we're going to create a new key pair if this is the first time you're launching an instance. So we'll go ahead and put, we'll put uh, cyber new, and this is whatever you want to name it, uh, something recognizable and useful. Renew admin two. All right, what you want to do if this is your first time creating a new key pair, go ahead and click download a key pair. Um, you're going to need this uh, .pem file to um, authenticate when you try to connect to your new EC2 instance via remote desktop protocol. So you can go ahead and save that and then make sure you know where that's getting saved to. Um, usually the defaults downloads for Windows. So go ahead and hit launch after you create and download your key pair. All right, go ahead and uh, See that that's pending. We'll wait for that to build. Now what we can do while that's finishing up and it shouldn't take too long, we're gonna try to locate that PEM file that we just downloaded. All right, so went to my downloads real quick. And as you can see, our instance is, is done. So there's my PEM that I just downloaded and created. So, uh, all right, yeah, let it finish initializing, but we don't have to. We can go ahead and um, we can go ahead and hit connect here after you've selected your, uh, your new instance. Uh, maybe I didn't name that correctly. All right, well, that was supposed to be tagged with a name. Maybe I missed something. Go ahead and hit connect. We're gonna go ahead and get password. No. Oh. All right, so we're gonna have to wait about four minutes for this to, to retrieve the auto-generated password. All right, guys, we're back. We're gonna go ahead and try this one more time. All right, we hit get password. Um, now we want to locate this um, PEM that we downloaded and uh, give it the path. So I have it in downloads somewhere. Uh, let's do this. All right, so hit decrypt and uh, you want to copy that to your clipboard we're going to hit download remote desktop file and uh, remote desktop um, is going to prompt us with this. We're going to go ahead and hit open with remote desktop. All right, we're going to go ahead and hit connect. All 
Uh, so yep, this is our default administrator user and we're gonna paste this password right in here. And you can hit remember me if you intend to uh, use this beyond uh, this video or for future purposes, but we're just gonna hit okay. All right, so this will prompt you when you initially try to connect. Um, I just typically say, don't ask me again and hit yes. Just verifying that uh, the certificate is safe and you, you understand who, the, who this host and instance is. All right. Let it do its thing, configure the remote session. Sorry guys, my stuff keeps opening on the other screen, so go ahead and give that full screen. We're logging in for the first time, so it's setting up our user environment. There we go. Bam, look at that beautiful Windows background. All right guys, um, that is how you create a Windows EC2 instance and utilize remote desktop protocol to connect to your newly created EC2 instance. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below the video. Also, um, like it if you learned anything. Um, subscribe if you want to hear or see future tutorials, gameplay, um, podcasts, blogs, you name it. We'll be, uh, we'll be bringing it to you. So thank you for watching.